I'm the pony commission. Hey, what's up everybody? This uh this Shag Moose speaking, you know, the pony popper. Yeah, that's a new one. You like that the pony popper? Cause I'm sunny, y'all niggas. Uh yeah, but you can also call me the <clears throat> The Pony Commissioner and uh Lo and behold, there is some fuckery afoot. And what am I talking about? I'll tell you right quick, um uh, the Connect. Uh Microsoft took the Connect out of the uh, Xbox One. June 9th, so VG Charts updated today. Now, you know I really don't give a fuck about sales, but I think this is funny, so I'm going to talk about it. Uh, VG Charts uploaded today, and this was the first week sales reflecting the Xbox One without the Connect. Now, the sales did improve around 20K over the previous week's sales, but, 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 this is what I find funny now. It still got outsold by the PS4, yes, the Master Race Station 4, I think you know what I'm talking about, but it also got outsold by the Wii U, you know the Wii U that all these Xbox One fans are claiming is dead, yeah, it got outsold by the fucking Nintendo Wii U, now how hilarious is that, speaking of the Wii U outside the Xbox One, I was, uh, I was on Skype, um, I was chatting with the Black Baron, y'all might know the Black Baron, he's a dusty, crusty motherfucker with a wop-sided, uh, Mohawk, he my homie though, shout out to Black Baron, that's my guy right there, but this nigga was more ecstatic by, due to the fact that the Xbox One finally outsold the PS4 in North America by 1,000 units, he didn't think that was better than the Wii U outside the Xbox One by 4,000 units, now I know all this sale talk kind of crazy, especially coming from me the Pony Commissioner, but I just had to address this man, Microsoft niggas, what are y'all bragging about? You have the worst selling next year in console. So, with all that being said, oh yeah, and Baron, uh, he says he's getting Xbox One over the PS4. Uh, I salute your decision, but like I said, I think it got too hot in that, uh, that aircraft hangar you were resting in or that abandoned car dealership, and you might have acted in and, like, drank some of the arm sweat from the nigga you was fucking power hugging for 45 minutes, but man, do what you do, bro. You still my homie, I salute you, like I said, but you, uh, you an X-Bot in Nintendo, in Nintendo on clothing. Yeah, the, your, your precious emperor, he, he playing both sides, but, uh, I had to put that out there. Other shit I wanted to talk about real quick, man, uh, Crytek. Now, this ain't really Microsoft fault. Well, you know what? This is Microsoft fault, man, because Crytek is going under. They're going broke. They're going out of business. Now, if you know what I'm saying, what I'm getting at, uh, what was the last relevant release by Crytek? Anyone? Oh, I see a hand in the back. What'd you say? Rise? Rise, Son of Rome? The Xbox One exclusive that was supposed to be quote-unquote amazing? Oh, really? So, what you're telling me is, that game is so amazing, is it ain't doing nothing for them, huh? I figured as much. And I always ask people, and I'm going to lay this question out real quick. Name a good Crytek game. Name a good Crytek game. Now, what I mean by good, it has to have decent vi decent, decent visuals, which we know Crytek excels at, so you ain't even got to put that in the equation. Decent visuals, good gameplay, the great gameplay, good story, the great story. No Crytek game has that. I've yet to see one. To me, honestly, I hope Crytek goes under, man. Because Crytek is nothing but a company that cares about visuals. They make terrible games, and they lease out that expensive-ass CryEngine. That's all they are. They're a cancer to the community. They're not needed. They're not wanted. Crytek, please go kill yourself. Oh, wait. You already are. Anyway, man, they're with the Pony Commissioner, and uh, I'm signing out. Peace.